Thank you very much, Mike. That is right. Trudy is here with her beauty tips for our hard-working hands. Good morning, Trudy. Good morning. We we're just both talking about how we didn't like our hands. Yeah, we were because I don't know. There's something no. about I don't yes. like my hands, and always in photos, they always look like yeah. giant, awkward. Awkward. If I could have a hand Man transplant, hands. I would. <laughs> I'll put my hand up if it happens. <laughs> So let's talk about some DIY for our, and TLC for our hardworking hands. You know, follow the same mantra as you do for your face because they, your it. hands age faster than your face because the skin is thinner on your hands with less oil glands. So yeah. hydrate, protect and correct. But we never those, ever do those things. No. I we, don't. We, our hands are the last thing we look after actually. But the first thing that people notice, especially when you talk, and I talk with my hands. So do I. So it's really important to do that. So does Mikey knocked his cup of coffee over uh, just before we went on air. <laughs> what about cuticle do's and don'ts? Cuticles for me is the big thing because that's where your nails are grow from. That's I mean, once you nail past your cuticle, it's dead basically. So an oil, and I keep an oil beside my bed at night and I put it on at night before I go to sleep because you're not doing anything while you're sleeping and that gives it a good chance to soak in. Um, olive oil is amazing, coconut oil is amazing. If you cook with those things, you know, and they're in your hands, instead of washing them off, just massage them into your nails mm. while you're cooking. Nice. That's what I do. What about for your whole hand? Are you more of an oil or a moisturiser fan? I tend to go for a balm, and I bought a few things in, in option-wise, um, because a balm tends to have oil and a moisture mixed, and the oil nourishes your nails while the moisturiser hydrates your hands. The other thing that's really important is a sunscreen in your hand cream, because we're all driving, and we've got our hands on the steering wheel and through that glass comes that UV ray and you often find that one hand is more damaged than mm. the other from driving, like one side of your faces. Well that's the thing and also do you ever cover up your hands? You well, never do. Well a lot of people do actually. I often see women driving with gloves on which really? does look odd but um, covering your hands. We mix in different circles. Yeah. The other thing is you look at um, young mum's hands and they always look a bit red and a bit dry because they're always in water, you know, water extremes aren't good for your hands. Mm. Too hot is really drying, too cold actually constricts the capillaries and makes them a bit red. Yeah. So wear gloves obviously when you're doing laundry and washing up. I've got sailing hands so they always look really, they're always calloused and sort of pretty. Hard reaping. Yeah they are. Um, what about our obsession with hand sanitizer? Is that good for it or not? Look, hand sanitizer is great if you need it. You know, I think a lot of people just use it for the sake of it. If you're using hand sanitizer a lot, you've got to moisturise afterwards because it's pure alcohol which yeah. dries out your cuticles, dries out your hands, ages your hands. So if you're going to use sanitizer a lot, moisturise afterwards. Okay. Another little good tip is that we're all into these sheet masks and I brought a couple in just to share with the team. Once you've taken it off your face, put it on the backs of your hands because it's still full of nourishing goodies. Um, instead of throwing it out, sit there for five minutes and put the rest, put them on your hands so you give yourself a little DIY mask. That's an excellent idea. I like it. What about manicure trends? Oh look, there's lots of them. At the moment is less bling and more um, art. Um, Metallic is huge. Um, metallic with a mix of mattes for different textures. Um, obviously, this is not something that you can easily do yourself. Um, I think you know things like shellac have become really easy for women to do. Um, as I said, metallics. Um, nail art is much more subtle than it once was, which I prefer. Um, French tips now are metallic tips, so you can have a French mani, but instead of going your classic um, white and pink, go for a bit of colour. Go for something that's a little bit fun. Nice. I Especially better actually don't spring. do any zooming on my nails um, today. And That's focusing on the cuticle too is a big trend at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> so, instantly the camera goes to my nails. I should yeah. never have even drawn attention to it. Okay, so let's talk quickly about what you brought in for us today. Okay, well, I've brought in one of my favourite hard working hand creams, like I said, a balm. Now, your skin is happiest when its pH balance is 5.5. So, this is brilliant. Um, Sebamed hand and nail balm. Brilliant to massage the hands. Around the cuticles yep, as well. Beautiful. This one I've already tried on. Yeah, this is Jane Udall. I mean, hand drink. Great name, but it's also got the SPF. Great one to keep it in the Smells car. like lemons too. Um, and this, I want to talk a little bit about this time retreat from Eve Lom. That this is in vitamin A cream for your hands. So if you've got aging spots, this is a treatment, not a hand cream. Okay. <laughs> Massage it into your hands, gets rid of those aging brown spots, which is. And nasty. this one down here looks like. And an this oil. is your um, Sally Hansen cuticle oil, which is new as well. It's got apricot kernel oil, wheat germ oil. It's got a little brush in it. Just massage it in, and away you go. Okay, you've got some gorgeous. Um, Polishes there. Yeah, just again, metallic OPI, the grease collection. This is great. Frenchie loves to kiss. I love a lilac. Beautiful. Instead of a pink, just a new twist on a new colour. Oh, nice. Hey, thank you so much, Trudy. Always a pleasure. pleasure. Now, for more beauty advice from Trudy, head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz. My hands feel really nice, actually.